Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card showing someone who is carrying a lot on their own. This is someone who feels drained and depleted. It feels like a relationship is feeling like a burden. Um, things could be a bit one-sided. Someone here feels unsupported and like they're in this on their own. Um, and with this card, this does show someone who's coming to the point where they are about to give up because they are at this stage of burnout. They're feeling um, drained and exhausted. So there could be a feeling of something coming to an end, something that's been draining and depleting is coming to an end. And this doesn't have to be that this person is choosing to give up on the connection. It could just be that their partner is rising up to support them. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Eight of, one, uh, the eight of Cups and this is Water Energy. The King of Swords, Air Energy, and the Ten of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so it looks like someone here is choosing to give up. Um, with the Eight of Cups, this is an energy of someone who's walking away. This is someone who's leaving a situation behind that no longer serves them. This is someone who's choosing themselves. They're putting their, their needs first. Um, this is someone who's showing self-respect and dignity so there could be some sort of an ending to a one-sided connection the king of swords is showing someone who's being firm they are standing up for themselves they're being strict um, when it comes to the situation there's this feeling of doing what's right you know um acting from a place of integrity when it comes to um you know being honest about how they feel about the connection and how they feel like it's not serving them um there's also this feeling of um not just walking away but rather telling someone why and then walking away so there's this feeling of being honest about something just not feeling like a fit anymore um you know there is this feeling of wanting a, a love that feels like a ten of cups but instead, you got a Ten of Wands type of connection, which is quite different. The Ten of Wands is um, a draining, depleting kind of love where it's one-sided. Whereas the Ten of Cups is like we both share the same vision. We are emotionally compatible. We are um, feeling emotional fulfillment and bliss in this connection. And there's something long-lasting about it. This could be someone you grow old with, have the family with. There's that kind of energy here. And it looks like what you were in here wasn't it. And there's this feeling of not being able to lie to yourself anymore, not being able to lie to the other person. You know, it's like having to be strong and make a, a bit of a tough judgment call here. So there is this feeling of someone is choosing to give up on a relationship that no longer serves them. Um, the Eight of Cups does also show that you're exhibiting your growth. Um, there's this feeling of knowing that your fulfillment may lie elsewhere. But the dream, the goal of having a Ten of Cups is still very present, but it's like accepting that someone can't give that to you or you know someone isn't it for right now so let's clarify these cards Sagittarius Okay, so we have the Three of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of um, manifesting your desired outcome here. This is a card of having to wait a little, though, for it to come in. But there's this feeling of you knowing what you deserve and knowing that it's it exists, knowing that you can have it. Um, so there is this feeling of waiting with expectancy here. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Page of Wands, Fire Energy, and we have the Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Okay, so 
there could be someone coming in here towards you with this page energy it looks like you're getting some sort of communication um there's this could be new people who are interested in you um there's just this feeling of having options and um having choices with the lovers being here so you may be back to the beginning you know the starting out of the journey you've just left something behind and it's like you're having to explore your options now and there are options here with the page of wands and the page of pentacles um and i'm just seeing you having choices in love okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius So we have balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So there's definitely a lot of growth that has occurred on your side, whether you know it or not. There's this feeling of you having really matured and learned a lot through some painful experience or difficult situation that you were in. And it's like having to learn that balance between being practical and choosing from your heart or feeling that spiritual connection with someone. So there is this feeling of you are in a better position here to find what you're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. we have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so it looks like you may be at the beginning phase like the dating phase that fresh start where you are enjoying romance um you have a lot of uh potential people to get to know and there's something here about needing to um enjoy that period because you will find your person but there's something about also um also enjoying the romance and being light-hearted okay so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, so we have purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. So there's a message about needing to be present. Uh, you have a goal for the future. You have learned from your past, but also don't forget to live in the moment. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. we have surrender to trust trust yourself and your decisions don't be swayed by the opinions by other people's strong opinions about what to do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path okay so trust yourself uh, it looks like you are making bold decisions here and you're on the right path yeah don't doubt yourself okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius Bye, Sagittarius.